Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We are trying to find location for a Nathaniel Bard. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Are you going to stay dead? I assume yes. Ooh, a key. Just as well I came up here. What are you a key for? Are you the star's key? Safety deposit key. A key which unlocks the door to the safety deposit room. <gasps> nice. There's no hole here. There used to be a hole here. It's gone now. Are you the same? D C M. <laughs> love it. Love everything about it. All right. Let's go to the safety deposit room. Oh, you mother bitch! <laughs> this lot are all taken care of. Whoa! Shit! If only I had my flash grenade! I was not expecting that, which is stupid. I should be on like high alert, considering we're in the RPD and we know the liquors are around. You guys are new. I thought Carlos was going to say something. Okay, we don't need you anymore. If there could be some health in here, that would be Fabaru. I wonder if there'll be other ones open. Ooh, a grenade. I can't do 102, can't do 103. Ooh, 104. You know, I'm just going to do all of them. Okay, 105 can't do. 106 we've already done. 7. Alright. About 108. Battery for mine now. Come the papa. And then you there. I hear you. Okay, I'm glad we came down here. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't need you. It's honestly a bit weird seeing a liquor in Resident Evil 3. Hi! Because they don't appear in the original. 
Stop missing. What is wrong with you? Okay. I'm going to assume you're down for the count. Okay. Press forward. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Because people were panicking. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Uh, you, if I remember rightly, are cat. Knowledge from the future, baby. Yes, more health. Note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. <clears throat> if you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you are out, out on patrol, I focus on finding a way to get to the other side. I realise that explosives might be, the, might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of there as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, no. Better not. Well, I don't think he actually turns. Well, I never allowed him to in my playthrough of RE2. I just took him out. Oh, so it's us who busts down this wall. Okay. Move. Is that... Oh, come on. Damn it! One at a time, take a number. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! Where the fuck are you all coming from? Jesus. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Did you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. <laughs> yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. 
And I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the dock's location. I don't trust you, Tyrell. I think you're a loyal... This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. And a, a loyal umbrella stooge. What we got here? Report on the mansion incident rejected. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were, f were five, star five members of Star's. The course of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Uh, but we all know who rejected that. Is that Jill in the front row? It is indeed. Super cop herself. Right. Red herb. First aid spray, thank you. Is there a Mr. Charlie around here at all? No, but there is a safe. I'm going to keep all those with me. Another flashy. No letter there for me to read. No weapons to collect, but what's in here? <coughs> Bullets! Right, I think I've searched everything I can. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Oh, shit's gone down after the train. Carlos Express. <laughs> Several minutes earlier, subway tunnels. Find me, Kyle. Fairly confident Nikolai made it. Yeah, because you know, we all love Mikhail, not Mikhail, Nikolai. UBCS new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light light your fires even hotter than your than the lover you left back home. <laughs> they're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. 
So basically, just toss them in the enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. Will do. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Back in the sewers. Might ditch the handgun again for a bit. Switch back to the... Get rid of those. Ideally I need to make more shotgun shells. But I think I'm relatively alright with this setup. Alright, nothing here. <laughs> I like those mine rounds. But I think I'm going to save them. I just wanted to test it. They ain't going home to their kids. What are Ben's doing down here? Cool. I didn't really want to waste a shotgun shell on you. Come on. If you could get down here a little bit quicker, that would be smashing. Alright, do we have any collectibles around here? No, nope, fair enough. Please don't be here to pick me up. Thank you. This fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. He sounds different and angry. Oh wow. And that must be the clock tower. Raccoon City, you look amazing. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the over the course of the early 20th century and the study and the student body of St Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately St Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monu monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time with proper preservation efforts in place, the clock tower was officially re reopened in 1993. And today the sound of its heavy tolling Tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Well, oh, that's nice. Kind of like Big Ben here in London. <laughs> what do you mean here? I don't live in London. In England. Oh, I see you. I see you. Is 
search for all the things. Hi! Did not even hear you. Another one of you. Perfect. Right, I think we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh shit. Bitch can't even swim. Um Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Get back! Chill! Chill, what happened? Oh. Now is really not the time, Jill. Your second form's a bit different than I remember. I'm glad I brought my grenade launcher. Come on. <laughs> I need ammo, please. What the hell is he doing? Stop it. Well, 
need to weaken it for that thing to pop out again. Doing this again, are we? I need to stop it in its tracks. I know, Jill. You need to wait for it to stop, ideally. Stab the butt, stab the butt. Shit. Oh, there's something in here. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, c come on! You gonna do your anything? Yes. Stop eventually. There we go. Ah! Come on, get behind it. Stop jumping so I can get behind you and stab you in the butt. Survive this this one. That's why I'm not waiting for it to stop, Jill. Gotta be something somewhere else. Come on. How do I kill this?
Yes, please tell me it's over. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, Jill, you are a badass. Get out of here. Why would you walk over its hand? I would just give it a very wide berth. I am not okay with it, roughly half a day later. Jill. I am not okay with this. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. Yeah, that was an intense battle. Cup. I got you. Nemesis second form is not what I was expecting. It's vastly different from his second form in the original. But I like it though. It was a, a really tough fight. Hello. Okay, so we're in the hospital, not the clock tower. You. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. You're gonna be okay. Oh. I promise. All right, can't really interrupt until I find the cure. Let's. Check around this room for any files or supplies first. There we go. And I'm going to end this episode here. Holy crap, this game is amazing. I am loving it. I think I'm enjoying this far more than the Resident Evil 2 remake, if that can be believed. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Resident Evil 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>